Hey y'all, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how we took the IKEA Duke Tig Play Kitchen and converted it to this adorable, functional kitchen that my children both love. So my mom actually gifted the IKEA kitchen to my daughter for her first birthday, and then my husband and I renovated it and made it a functional kitchen for our part of the Christmas gift. So I had several ideas of how I wanted the kitchen to look. I had looked on Pinterest, put together some mood boards, went to Google search, and just kind of collaborated all the ideas that I wanted to incorporate to make the kitchen that we have here today. So when we first got the package, my mom and I sorted the pieces from the lower parts of the kitchen and the upper parts of the kitchen so we would know which parts were gonna be the green color and which parts would be the matte white color on top. We also opted to remove the microwave, which normally goes right here, just so we would have more open shelving in the kitchen. As far as paint, we did use all spray paint. For us, spray paint was the simplest to, way to go. I I'd seen several reviews of people using spray paint and as long as you let it fully dry use multiple coats let it cure fully for several weeks we actually finished all the paint about a month before we gifted it to our daughter for Christmas so the paint has dried wonderfully we've had no chipping thus far so hopefully we won't have any um, but I will go ahead and admit the painting process took quite a while because I, I really just kept putting it off I would paint a layer and then leave it sitting in our garage for two weeks where I'd go paint another layer I, I don't know why it took me so long to actually get the project painted so once everything was painted my husband and I started assembling the kitchen. We assembled the lower half, went ahead and put on these new knobs. So these are actually the knobs we used. I'll have all of this linked down below. It's just a few things I picked up on Amazon as well as these handles and then the woven interface right here inside the oven. Super inexpensive just to add these cute few little pops of touches that I really think drastically changed the kitchen. So we also put together the top piece and replaced the plastic dowel that comes with the Ikea kitchen with a wooden dowel. Also had spray painted these little hooks a black color. So as far as the countertop, when the, the original Ikea countertop comes with a hole here for the oven as well as a square hole here for the plastic sink. Well, originally we had debated on painting the sink and then putting a cover over the oven, but our final idea came to this. We decided to just recreate the whole countertops. So as far as making everything line up and fit from the old countertop to the custom countertop we created, we simply just placed the old IKEA kitchen on top of this piece of pine wood, traced everything. My husband went ahead and just drilled the holes directly into it. I just stood on top of everything and made sure it was nice and sturdy. It was actually quite simple. We did it together and the countertop lined up perfectly. It was super simple to do. He just went back and sanded around at the edges. So as of now, we've opted just to leave the countertop raw. I love how it just complements the green and the white perfectly, but if things start to become an issue, I may go back and stain it or seal it. I just haven't decided that yet. And then this was actually the piece that my husband had originally cut to go over the hole in the Ikea kitchen, but it turned out to be the perfect little chopping board. My son also uses this as a cookie sheet. He'll open up his oven and put in a cookie sheet. My kids also like to put their dishes here to dry, so it kind of becomes a drying rack. They've just been super creative with this piece of planked wood that my husband just cut out that we originally were going to use for covering up the hole in the Ikea kitchen countertop, but it worked out perfectly. The last step was figuring out the sink. Like I said, we debated on if we wanted to use the plastic Ikea sink. I actually originally painted it black and I was going to have black complements. You can see the hooks that I painted black. But once I painted the sink, it was kind of just a chippy disaster. It did not work well. So we opted to go with a copper sink. I had gotten this water pump which I will talk about in just a minute. And it had this copper touch, so I decided to go with the copper bowl for the sink. My husband just drilled holes in it. Now, the only regret I have is this copper sink is starting to tarnish a little bit because it has had water touch it because our sink is functional, as I told y'all. So, over time, it has started to tarnish just a little bit, but that is perfectly okay. I still think it looks wonderful in the kitchen. We'll see how it holds up over time, but we traced out the diameter that we needed for this hole, and then my husband actually bent up the lip of this so that it would rest nicely in here, and then he caulked it, sealed it. So my husband was the mastermind behind all of this. I just gave him the ideas, and he just ran with it and created my vision. So he did a wonderful job on making this what I had envisioned, and my children absolutely love it. So now I'll talk real quick about the functionality of our kitchen. So I already mentioned that we have a real working sink. So what this is is a water pump that I purchased on Amazon. My husband actually made a little resting place for it to sit in this little hole that he drilled. All of this was kind of pre-designed by him, but I'll give you close-ups of everything. And the water pump just rests in this little hole, and then under here, we have two basins. 
So this is actually the basin that catches the water when it comes through the copper sink, which we just drilled a few holes here. And this basin in the back is just the clear jug that we use for the tubing from the pump to pull water from. So again, I'll have all of this linked down below for y'all to check out. The only thing I have to do is about every four to five days, depending on how much my children play with it, is take the water from here and dump it back into the larger one in the back so that it can continue to flow through. I have seen it where parents just use one large basin for the pump as well as where it drains. It would just take up this whole space, but it would have to be like a very open bowl or basin and knowing my children they would be pulling the basin out as if it was just water was just staring and looking at them so i knew i needed two separate ones and i don't mind the inconvenience of just transferring the water every so often so i just make sure that this lines up under our copper sink and this one in the back make sure the tubing i just pulled it out just make sure the tubing goes on into the bottom of the jug when i pulled it out i actually pulled out the, the tubing so it wouldn't suction water and we make sure that this funnel lines up neatly and we have so far not had any messes. My son loves to actually turn on the water and watch it flow down into this basin. One of those cause and effect things that that age toddler loves to watch. He's just a little over two. This is technically meant to be my daughter's Christmas gift, but he loves it just as much. So that is our kitchen. That's the functionality of it. For Christmas, like I said, my mom gifted us the kitchen and then my husband and I did the renovations and then we had several other friends and family members provide plates and play food for them to use on the kitchen. So this has just been a huge hit. We actually have this sitting right off of our kitchen. So when I'm cooking, my kids can come over here and cook as well with me. Originally, I planned to put it out in our playroom, but I decided this was just the perfect place. It complements our kitchen beautifully. We actually are in the middle of renovating our kitchen. It's been a long process and we eventually hope to have sort of the same look with the different toned lower counters and upper cabinets. We are actually looking at a green color. So I kind of designed this with my own kitchen in mind when I made it for my daughter. And I absolutely loved how it turned out. So now I will turn y'all to this side of our kitchen that is unfinished. So ignore the unfinished wall. That is gonna be eventually a brick wall where it will be just a beautiful brick paper wall. But for now, we have not gotten to that step of the renovation. So it's just the concrete in preparation for the brick. So this is where we actually keep all of the play food and then a little um, table. I think this is from Sprouts, Sprout Kids. We got it last year for Christmas. So I'll bring y'all over here now and just quickly show y'all. This is just an antique cabinet that we have had for quite a while that I turned into their little refrigerator. Um, okay, it's not too messy in here. We have lots of play food. We got play food from several different family members for Christmas. We got food that my children can chop and cut as well as a whole sandwich kit where they can make sandwiches and just the uh, the imagination opportunities are endless with this. And they just absolutely loved playing over here. My daughter is just 10 months old, like I said, and loves the open and close effect of this kitchen. And it's just been a great hit. Then over here, we have an antique toaster. We actually found this in an antique store a while back before we even had children. And I just put it out here recently for my children to make toast. So they love taking the little bread, putting it in the toaster. They even add sound effects for what a toaster would normally sound like. And it's just, this has been wonderful for independent play and imaginative play. And I know my daughter isn't quite into that stage of imaginative play at only 10 months, but she's going to lead her beautifully into that stage. And then over here, I have their little fruit basket. This is just more play fruit. I'll link all of this that I can down below. A lot of this was gifted to us, but it's either from Amazon or Ikea. So anything I can link, I will link below. But this has just been phenomenal. My kids love it. The imagination opportunities are endless. And then our play knives. These aren't really play knives. These actually cut real food. I just shared a video on raising independent toddlers, and I talked about these knives. My son loves to chop these foods. This is, I think, a Melissa and Doug set, but I'll link the knives down below. He keeps them at his kitchen, but a lot of times I bring him over into our real kitchen, and he helps me chop things. So... And then we have a loaf of sourdough bread. If you've been around here for a while, you know that our family loves sourdough. So my son now brings us pieces of sourdough bread. He cuts us a slice, gets us a plate, and brings us loaves of bread. What do you have? Ooh, what is that, buddy? It's warm. Thank 
The little print. Y'all, I haven't completely finished decorating this area. I want to get a little mixer to go up here as well as a few other artworks here. But this is just what I have for now. This is some artwork I printed off of Etsy. So coming back over. I a banana. Okay, you can go get one. Get so we have only had the functional kitchen in our house for two weeks now. But the amount of hours my children have already played with it are countless. I can't even tell you how many times they've come and washed dishes, washed their hands. I think my son's even brushed his teeth here. My daughter, 10 months old, has already even learned to put on this pot holder. She's seen me do it so many times and I guess her brother opening things and getting it in and out of the oven. Just the opportunity for growth, the chance for them to play independently, the chance for them to develop fine motor skills, real life skills are endless here. Oh, almost finished. So I hope this video has given you all some ideas for how to create a functional kitchen from the Ikea Duke Tig Play Kitchen. You'll have to ignore my son over there. He's playing. But um, this was such a fun project. My husband and I really enjoyed doing this for our daughter for her first Christmas gift. My son has loved it just as much. So I hope that you have fun recreating yours. If you do, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your creations if you use this as an idea inspiration for your own play kitchen. Thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you all in a future video. Bye. You can play with the kitchen in just a minute, but you got to put clothes on. Old countertop on top of the new one. Do you want to call Pappy? Functional kitchen from the Ikea Duke Tig Kit.